Captain Scoresby went up north to see how much those whales were worth. They weren't worth much, so goes the tale. So he caught a creature that was woolly and pale. What's that swimming in the esk? A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. Yes, he caught a creature that was woolly and rawed, with great big teeth and great big jaws, a nasty temper and knock-you-down paws. What's that swimming in the esk? A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. Yes, Captain Scoresby brought this beast and tethered it up in Whitby East. He tethered it up by the Spittlebeck. What's that swimming in the esk? A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. Yes, the beast got clean off its chain. But Captain Scoresby brought it back again. Back he came from Cockmill Wood. We bear on a halter as good as good. What's that swimming in the esk? A polar bear, you never have guessed. A polar bear, you never have guessed. Yes, old Scoresby schooled that bear like a dog. He'd take it out on the lead for a jog. He'd loss it off, call eel and stay. Throw a stick in desk so it could play. Yes, folk came to Whitby from all about to view its antics and to shout, Ooh, and ah, and hip hooray! There were shadow trips nearly every day. What's that swimming in the esk? A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. A polar bear, you'd never have guessed. Then at last a rumour went around that the polar bear that Scoresby found had really been tamed and saved from the bad by Admiral Lord Nelson just when he was just a lad. By Admiral Lord Nelson when he was just a lad. What's that swimming in the esk? A polar bear? You'd never have guessed. A polar bear? You'd never have guessed.